Looks like we've got some mail. Hello, this shall be my complete, uh, well, not my complete, but my mail haul as of April 25th, 2021. Um, there's only three things in here. I had to open it because I had something else in here for somebody else, and I had to take it out before I would do this video. And also, one of these things I did decide to watch already, so I'll throw in a tiny little review for it, too, as well. But anyway, without further ado, shall we begin? So here is the, uh, like the actual mail <laughs> paper that it's in. Um, I got this off of Amazon, and that's pretty much all it is about it. As you can say, uh, see, it's already ripped open. And if you saw what that is, if you haven't. But anyway, let's actually get this stuff out of the packaging, shall we? So we'll open up completely this time. Didn't want to wreck it the first time so I could actually make this video. And I got three movies, and they're all pretty much horror-related. Some are, uh, like, about two of them are horror comedy, and the other one's just a straightforward, a straightforward horror. So let's go through them. The first one that we got is actu actually the straightforward horror, and that is The Witch. Even though they spell it with two Vs, I'm not really sure what that's about. I don't know if it shows, like, later on in the movie, like, it explains why it's like that. But anyway, it won a uh, Sundance Award. It is rated R for disturbing violent content and graphic nudity. It's rated, and it runs at 92 minutes long, which is uh, uh, 1 hour 32 minutes. And it uh, is about New England, 1630. William and Catherine lead a devout Christian life with their five children, homesteading on the edge of a impassable wilderness. This is a very small print. With their newborn son mysteriously vanishes, their crops fail, and the family begins to turn on one another. The witch is a chilling portrayal of family unraveling within their own fears and anxieties, leaving them prey to inescapable evil. So that is the witch. Next one that we got is The Frightener, starring Michael J. Fox. I've heard very good things about this one, so I'm looking forward to watching this. This is uh, by Peter Jackson. It comes with a director's cut. includes 13 minutes of addition additional footage. So the uh, theatrical is one hour and 50 minutes, and then the un the director's cut is two hours and three minutes. The theatrical is rated R for terror and violence, and the, un the director's cut is unrated. If you don't know what it's about, it says Michael J. Fox stars as Frank Bannister, a small-town ghostbuster in league with the very with the very spirits he's supposed to be exercising. The scam works well until a powerful spirit goes on a murderous rampage force and Frank to find a way to stop the diabolical ghoul and a special effects packed supernatural chiller that is so fiendishly entertaining. It's frightening. Frighteners. And I'm looking forward to this one because uh, like, it's right up my alley for like the era of horror that I like absolutely love. So hopefully it's good. So the last, but certainly not least, is one that I've already watched, and I gotta say, I, I do recommend it, I think it's a lot of fun, and that is The Faculty, directed by Robert Rodriguez, known for Machete, and, well, Machete, Machete Kills, and Planet Terror. So that is The Faculty. If you don't know what this is about, it says, This hip and edgy thriller from the director of From uh, Dust Till Dawn and the writer of Scream and Scream 2 sizzles with a hot cast including Elijah Wood, Josh Harnett, the R&B uh, superstar Usher also has um, um, Famique Jensen in it, too. When some very creepy things start happening around school, the kids at Harrington High make a chill and discovery that confirms their worst suspicions. Their teachers are really from another planet. As, as mind-controlling uh, parasites rapidly begin spreading from the faculty to the student bodies, it's ultimately up to a few who are left an unlikely collection of loners, leaders, nerds, and jocks to save the world from an alien domination. It also stars Robert Patrick. So this is a really, really fun movie. It's very Invasion of the Body sna uh, Snatchers-like, but um, it's a lot a lot of fun. I highly recommend this movie. It is uh, it is rated R for uh, violence, gore, strong language, and drug use, and some nudity. And it runs at 1 hour and 44 minutes long, but it does not feel that long. And it's from 1998, which, uh, like, just... They, uh, some of the effects are dated, but, like, not really that much whatsoever, and, uh, the, when they use practical, it's absolutely awesome. So, that was my complete mail haul. 
So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe so I know to keep making more of these. Let me know what your favorite movie is down in the comments below from uh, my haul. Uh, if you have any video requests, please put them down in the comments below. I will do my best to reply. Thanks for watching as always, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye!